There we go. Okay, there we go. We're, we're off and running. Now I have to... I guess Volley First Serve, it's got to go across three times, which it has. I can put on some English to... Cause it... There we go. Cross, cross. Boom. Okay, there we go. Point number one. Nope, nope. <laughs> okay, it's tied 1-1. One, one. I'm playing a two-player game. All right, we're going to have to... Uh, let me add in. We're gonna have to add in scoring for player two there. He served it, and I uh, I did miss it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Two-player game. He scored against me, and I'm playing by myself here. Do a makeshift scoreboard again. The Odyssey did not keep track of score. You had to do your own scoring. Not losing, Viscalert. We are tied. We are tied. Okay. Actually, shouldn't I be serving because I'm going first? Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. Two to one. Oh, he's got to serve now. Okay. I guess with alternating scoring. Yeah, I can't serve, so I guess he's gonna be scoring. And three to one. Yeah, there is, um, you can move, in fact, look at this. You can, you can go across to the other court. That's how, that's how primitive this is. They couldn't even, they weren't able to, uh, program against that. Why isn't this? Is this frozen? Hold on a second here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the physics are a little janky, definitely. All right, let's go. I like how the ball comes to a screeching halt. Sometimes it's, I can't, I'm unable to serve the ball. Hello? Now I can't move at all. Is it the ball not off the screen? Is that why I can't move? It's not letting me serve the ball again. Or anything. Okay, hang on. We gotta restart this. The good news is we didn't lose any progress. Um... since the game doesn't keep track of its own scoring. Oops. Hang on. Runtime error now? Seriously? Hang on. This should be... There we go. I must have had a typo there. Okay. I think we can resume. The cycle's too high? Yeah, they're at 3,000. Maybe. Okay, let's see if I can put in some English. So you're able to, there's an English control, which you can um, kind of, yeah, there you go. So you can hit the ball up higher or lower like that. There you go. Ooh, okay. I was worried about the hit detection that it actually might count as a as a hit back, but it didn't. It didn't. Oh, no, get up. Get up there. Boom. There we go. 
Yeah, it is weird how it kind of comes to like almost a complete stop as it reaches the uh, edge of the screen there. Hey, Garbalan. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of silly to be playing this without a second player, but at least we get to see it. I mean, so it's obviously a better game than this, but at least you get a little feel for it. We just have to get up to uh, 21 to uh, win the game. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, I hit it back. It didn't go completely off the screen. I saved it. I saved the point. That was close. Oh, and I forgot to get the timer back on. I guess we'll add in a couple of minutes. I'll add in a couple of minutes. I'll go back and see what the time was. Yeah, the physics are definitely a little off, but what can you do? All right, game point. Boom, and there it is. And there you go, that's table tennis. Game number one on the Magnavox Odyssey. Uh, so again, a very, very simple game, and you're going to see variants of this. Uh, all of the overlays um, added graphics and then had different rules, but I guess the, um, the way that they were programmed changed maybe the appearance of like that center bar or a couple of other minor things, but again, there not a whole logic built in this. The Odyssey really relied on the manual to kind of, uh, you know, the rules and logics of the game were sort of player enforced.